<laughs> Andrew, any dictator in your corner? What's your starter for the week? Mine is very partisan. Uh, the school that produced uh, the man this man was talking about, <laughs> Steve Omoy. <laughs> Quite partisan. When, when, when I speak about St. Louis, um, I kind of forget my journalism uh, because it's a school that produced me. I produced uh, Charles Onyango Bo, mm. produced Steve Omoy, and, and quite a number. So this past weekend, the Independence Weekend, was a very special weekend uh, for, for St. Louis College and the, the OBs, the community. Uh, we had two days of celebrations, uh, Friday, rather Saturday and Sunday. And uh, yeah, that, that's the brass band, the school brass band. So it, it was a homecoming, <laughs> a homecoming celebrating um, a century. Mm -hmm. Of course, we should have celebrated uh, during COVID, but because of COVID, so we made we are 102 years. Mm -hmm. how, co how come Fufa TV Cup did not include you? They were busy in Moroto. No, the Fufa TV Cup that happened, the schools tournament, uh, at schools like Mengo Senior School. But you asked me the wrong person. <laughs> uh, no, I'm shocked because when I had the 100, I was shocked. 102 too. years, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. uh, fo formed in 1921 uh, by the uh, Catholic White Fathers. So mm. since then, of course, Father Ran, we, we have the pedigree and the tradition mm. for Fufa not to have missed us. Uh, perhaps yeah. uh, the, 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 the second edition. <laughs> yeah, the tournament uh, expands. Yeah, uh, yeah beca because initially they only included schools from around this region that are hundred. Yeah. That's why you see Namiriango. They used to the overball but oh, played some football. Which which football is from Namiriango? Uh at least a man's in the Amuhachi. Oh god. Ah, yeah. This, was this report of ours. Yes, our <laughs> colleague. Is we, we, are, we are talking David Obi here from St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so the homecoming we had a, 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 a full day of sports gala on Saturday at Kabura Stadium. No relation with our colleague. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. Kabura Stadium near, uh, just, just next to the school. And then uh, it was beautiful because you had families come with their kids, you know, wives and all. So the whole day was the gala. Then Sunday, yesterday, was the dinner. Uh, we had the Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese, Bishop Robert Muhira. Of course, the school is under uh, the, the, the diocese as well, government uh, run. So it, it was quite beautiful, and as you can see, uh, we, we, the, 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 there was a, a, a match from town, Fort Porto Town, to the stadium, and then the, at the stadium, all sorts of games. You had Nkrumah. Uh, we are talking of sweeps. Nkrumah swept basketball <laughs> and, and, and football. Uh, and then you had Kabalega, my house, winning the, the handball. Uh, and then, but, but the bottom line, oh, it's, it's, not just, it's not just celebrating and catching up. That is important because uh, the, the, the old, old boys also had to meet with the kids, give career guidance and all. But the most important thing was to the journey of reviving the school. This school, just a little background, mm. uh, in 2080s, 90s, early 2000s, mm. one of the best in the country, academically and sporting wise. Of course, the first upcountry school to win the post-primary. Oh. Uh, when when uh, 1997, uh, beating, I like reminding Jiba, Jiba and his team and Obua in the final, and Ismail Chibuli 4 0, beat them 4 0, 97 in Imbarara <laughs> uh, with Father Ryan. So we had issues, uh, uh, mal maladministration, management, and all. And by 2014, the school actually was being threatened for closure, oh. strikes, malpractice examination, UCE, uh, a, a result sold, name it. But in 2015, the old boys under our, uh, the stewardship of uh, engineer MX Turiatunga works with uh, an engineer at Water, came together and for the last eight years, the old boys have injected about 800 million in the school. Wow. Refurbished mm -hmm. dormitories, refurbished uh, all handbook courts, uh, basketball courts, name it. Uh, also, government came in with working on the library and all. And then, before they came in, the enrollment has dropped from 1,000 to 200 students. Some dormitories were white elephants. Nothing was happening. But as I speak, academics, uh, we, we recovered the, 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 the last edition, uh, UCE. Uh, we sat 28 students, 21 were in first division, and seven in second. But since 2015, we also have a scholarship where we pay about 70 million every year for bright but needy students. Of the 21 that passed in Division 1, uh, 11 are part of that scholarship as well. So in a nutshell, it's us celebrating with our, our, our young slakers 
at the community in, in, Fort, in Fort Port and telling parents, say, we are back and you need to join us. So it's quite, quite, I told you, it, it's a partisan topic for me. So when I talk about it, um, I'm really excited and I'm happy with where the school is going. And soon, Ismail, mm -hmm. I think we shall be on the on. I think we should be on the lineup of, of the next yeah, uh, that FIFA Cup. And yeah, because uh, clearly, w w I've, I've told, I've said this repeated and posted on some forums mm -hmm. that when I've watched highlights of Ugandan football over the, over the past one year, you, the best thing I've watched on television is a boy from Kira College Boutique called Gift Fred Mutaria. Mm -hmm. I've never met him, mm -hmm. but the strikers, inst the boys' instincts in front of goal mm -hmm. um, have been amazing. And actually, I remember the complaint when Fofa started this tournament, are they fighting post primary and this mm -hmm. kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And then I remember the Mahogogo saying that they are going to increase the catchment because when they said he said he's using traditional schools. And I remember one guy asked him, Do you know that Chigezi College Mutawere is 100 and what years? Exactly. Or something. Yeah. Now, when you bring Slake yeah, being yeah, yeah. 102, 102. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Uh, and maybe just to wrap it up, yeah. Nebo, I know you're in a rush. It would be unfair for me to leave St. Louis and, and, and the topic without mentioning Fred Mohumza. We call him Fredo, the current uh, <laughs> assistant coach of URA. Last week named interim assistant coach of Uganda Prince, former St. Louis coach, <laughs> former St. Louis <laughs> player, midfielder, okay. number seven. Give him a monument. Oh. Fred. Give him a monument. So, one of the products. So not, actually, not a, a monument at um, or a statue at the gate. Uh, no, uh, a mon as you enter Fort Porto. Uh, yeah, not at the yeah. school. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, I mean, what more should I say? The first, the first person from Fort Porto and uh, from Chegove to coach a national team hey. in the world. Actually, wow. he's in charge wow. of the <laughs> so against, against Mali on 13th October and against Zambia in U.S. Oh, we hey. better win because and if we lose, we're not going to blame. No, no, I, 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 says I, we know whom to blame if we lose. If we lose. No, before oh. you blame, you blame <laughs> <more. We're> better. <laughs> <laughs> we better win. If we win, it's more. If we lose, it's Fred. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>